Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing like initial clear of uh, Mr. Fantastic Invasions just to test out the difficulty. I tried to record one lane already unfortunately I had some issues recording uh, but the base idea is fairly simple. This is kind of like a test video to see what kind of difficulty are there, what kind of nodes are there and this is a freezer burn path uh, so you do how to kind of come in prepared for most part but I wanted to also showcase the freezer burn, the damage from incinerates that you get in here is a 326 per tick so if you have like a more stacked champions it's not necessarily needed i suppose to have that uh incinerate immunity because uh, the opponent's bi is not that great it's typically around 13k so if you using rank 4 uh, rank 5 champions to clear this as fast as possible then you should know and be prepared that if it has like biohazard or freezer burn or stuff like that the damage isn't all that insane however it is still a good champion showcase so we have selected different champions uh, largely with uh, incinerate immunity to deal with that freezer burn i believe the left lane has a mighty charge on it and the right lane was cornered uh and something pilfer regeneration yeah so uh the nodes are somewhat annoying i suppose i'd say uh however it's not too bad uh the pi of opponents isn't too high and it's like four fights till the boss and then the boss fight and boss has about twenty eight thousand pi i believe so that is what you can expect basically in all the mr fantastic epic difficulty invasions and uh yeah so let's see uh how long does it take so using basically only rank four and five champions as you can see the video is about five minutes long so it doesn't take that long to complete it exploration uh that would mean about 15 minutes 20 minutes depending like your mastery setup and which champions you are using so on and so forth so it's about 20 minutes i'd probably half that time for uh, master difficulty so it's about half an hour commitment in a day which is to be fair quite a lot but hey you know you can't win all the battles so it's definitely going to get old it's going to be a bit of a drag but the rewards at least now are uh, somewhat worth it and this is more or less kind of like the time consumption that you guys can expect there now how last fight before the boss we're going to be using ghost and then we have dr doom boss now i can tell beforehand that uh I haven't practiced avoiding Dr. Doom specials yet. I haven't even watched any video on it yet. So that's definitely something I'm going to have to learn how to do because all of his specials are unblockable. So sooner or later, I'm going to have to learn to avoid that. But this was pretty much a super easy, flow, uh, simple fight for Ghost 1 level 2. The fight's over. And the boss, uh, as far as I noticed, pretty much always going to have EMP modification on himself. Uh, so you kind of want somebody that's shock immune because uh, that is quite an annoying note and i figured i'll bring in dr doom against uh, dr doom so my dr doom is only a rank 3 champ however you immediately notice that because of shock immunity and how much dr doom relies on shock it's not the best mirror matchup at all because you can't get your passive stuns in you can't stagger the opponent so on and so forth and yeah it is somewhat annoying especially if you can't realistically away dr doom special ones and obviously you also have the spite to deal with now there i got saved by that uh, resist aura that dr doom has i didn't really think it's going to be all that useful but it is now also uh, i got uh, basically and hit in the face and yeah i quickly started to realize that i don't really know how to wait this guy's level one so i'm gonna how to teach that <laughs> he's gonna toast me just in a moment right here and uh victory screen dr doom has is quite awesome though i do like that when it switches to the victory screen he just looks so badass uh but yeah so i'm gonna take in human torch to dispose of this guy quite quickly the rewards for initial completion was like 25 six star shards 500 five star shards and a five star signature stone so that's definitely good it's not too bad at all and yeah i'm so glad they did increase these rewards uh, for this monthly event because i said uh, realistically it will take about half an hour uh, in a day to do all of these uh, luckily it's only one energy so hopefully it shouldn't take too big of a toll on you energy wise but it's still gonna take a bunch and yeah half an hour to do master and uncollected or epic or whatever that difficulty is called uh yeah 
so always could be better uh, but here i'm kind of parrying on purpose with human torch a lot here because i don't want to be awaiting his special attacks more than i have to so uh, the idea was get a bunch of smolders and then uh, finish the fight off quickly anyways that will pretty much do for today's video just a super quick video checking out uh, mr fantastic invasions this is how they look like that that is what you can expect daily for next month pretty much and yeah uh see you soon guys uh, don't forget to hit that like and sub button